Hey everybody, how are we doing? It's your content creator, Kyler. Um, I first of all want to say thanks to the thousand subscribers I have both on, uh, or followers on YouTube and Instagram now. So I figured there's a, something special that we can do for that. Um, by coincidence, I have a new photo album uh, that just arrived today. Um, Maryland. So I'm going to open that up here and we'll take a quick look at this. So, um, they got it in here pretty good. So let's see if I can get this box open here. Hmm. This is probably the thoroughly packed out of my ever. gotten probably not the ideal way of opening this but i can't even get into the edges of the box so now i know what this is um i want it at an auction um let's see some well packed So, um, this is a, let me get a glove on here, um, as always, I try to protect us. This, these sets of pictures are about a hundred years old. So, um, this is an official Reichsmarine photo album, as you can see down here for Torpedo Boat V6, um, or formerly known as SMS V6. This was a V1 class torpedo boat and is actually a veteran of World War I, including the Battle of Jutland or the Skaragic Battle. So here we can see open up here and we have the official um, photograph of the sailor who purchased this. Um, I haven't found a name quite yet, but as you can see, he was uh, a, a sailor aboard um, the SS Cormoran during World War I. So, um, but he continued on in the Rex Main, was one of those lucky ones. So, got some pages protecting uh, the first set of images, which can see the uh, other torpedo boats um, that were kept on in the Rex Marine after the Treaty of Versailles and the, the Grand Scuttle. Um, the V1 class were more compact torpedo boats um, than their predecessors, which allowed them to be um, pretty nimble, but they weren't very popular sea boats um, with the sailors and officers that served on them. Uh, they moved around a lot and so um, weren't the most popular ships in the world. They stayed in service until uh, 1926 when they were finally retired for the first batch of the Predator class, which those were the, the ones named after um, birds. And then the follow-up were the, uh, the ones named after uh, mammals. So, and then you can see over here, we have more pictures of them practicing laying a smoke screen. And then some pictures of the crew here. And then um, more photos of, it looks like an inspection, uh, the loading of a torpedo, the bridge area, um, maybe getting paid in that picture there. Um, and now that these are all secure, um, didn't know quite how they're, that, and that scanning these will probably be a bit of a project since uh, I would prefer to keep them in the photo album. So you can see here, coaling, cleaning the deck, probably after coaling, um, the crew, uh, at least the sailors and some of the officers of the torpedo boat on shore. Um, as you can see in some of these photos, these were dated in 1925. So like I said, almost a hundred years old. So one of their motorboats with the Rex Marine flag, and that looks like the officers and enlisted men of the ship 
are the senior NCOs and then some of the crew there. And, ah, uh, a dog, a rat and dog, dog to keep the rats out. So a rat terrier more than likely. Um, and some other equipments and interesting photos. This is probably the most complete set of photos I've ever seen for this type of ship. Um, so I look forward to scanning these and showing you high resolution scans. We can see here is the bridge. Um, in the early 20s, the 88 millimeter guns that were originally on this uh, class of ships were... Um, refocus here because um these ships were um rearmed with 105 millimeter guns so again there's the ship's dog again uh, one of the torpedo launchers probably a practice torpedo um coming aboard on a boat ah here's um some quick easy pictures of the uh, main armament and oh sorry don't want to picture the dog food and um you can see crew hanging out there more crew hanging out in the galley um and we have some of the engine spaces these were um turbine powered um using, I think, if I remember correctly, a combination of coal and um, oil. So, some of the machinery spaces. And then, uh, obviously, a trip to Norway, which was a popular destination for a lot of German ships before World War I and afterwards. Um, sorry, my... Gimbal is acting up tonight for some reason. It's normally I've never had this problem before. So, oh, my power may be going out on it, so. And then you can see over here, some more pictures of Norway, crew having a meal together, and that's about it. So thank you for everybody supporting um, my Facebook page and Instagram channel, and uh, I will look forward to scanning and sharing these photos with you all in the near future. Thanks.